I'm trying to be the voice of reason. This nation need change like a season. Fight for greedy reasons. They won't take the All time. All right, man. My dude actions, Trigger right here. Space Coast like representative. Shout out to the Astros. All day, every day. <laughs> know what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, my dude. What's up? What you got for me? Tell me what's up about this mixtape that you've been talking about. I've been hearing a little buzz about it. You know what I mean? What's up? What's up? What's up? You know, just an underground artist trying to make it. But I'm not about to bore y'all with that whole story. But um, basically, yeah, you probably talking about coexist, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Volume one poison, which it stands for, you know, pixels over ink, solidifying our nation. Uh huh. Self-explanatory. If not, can't get it. Basically. You know, people rather be on their computers than pick up a book. And that whole thing is just killing our nation. So, I'm doing a mixtape about that. And I basically started this idea when I, around the time when I dropped two black bands. Dropped two black bands, what? In May? Around May? Yeah, yeah. the summertime. It was May 8th. Yeah. Because that's, uh, Hela Selassie's father's birthday, and that's why I dropped it on that day. Um, yeah, I started coming up with the idea with it. It was in works, never really had a track list or any beats, but I just had a name and what I want to do with it. Okay. So now I'm, put, I'm finally putting it into effect, and y'all should be getting it around 2012. No exact date, just a year, because <laughs> yeah. I want to take my time with it. I feel you, don't want to build pressure. Exactly, you're right. Alright, um, yeah, I was talking about, you know, as far as subject matter in the whole, on the whole mixtape or coexist, right. what's the main thing that you're going to be focusing on as far as, like, conscious, conscious matter, you know, like, are you, are you going to be on the, um, sort of a Chuck D type tip, like, activist type of thing? Pretty much, pretty much. I'm trying to, you know... Let's put it this way. I'm trying to do like, I don't want to be like Tupac. I don't want y'all to get that confused about that whole thing. But what I want to do is take what he did, but sort of dumb it down. Because the society we live in now today, they, they want to really get it if I get on that level. So I'm going to try to dumb it down for him. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, he ain't calling y'all stupid. Y'all <laughs> yeah, just a little on the slow side. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to. No, nah, I ain't trying to call him stupid because you know I don't want to make anybody think I'm better than them. You know, I look at us like we all equal. So uh, that's basically, and you know, I'm trying to get everybody together. And with this project, I'm gonna have different producers, um, different engineers, different graphic designers. Because with Two black bands, I really didn't do that, and I didn't have too many features because that was more of a personal project. So, for this one, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I mean, the subject matter, as far as that, um, it's not gonna be too lyrical because two black bands was kind of like that, and it kind of went over people's heads. So, like I said again, I'm gonna dumb it down a little bit. All right, all right. But it's gonna be some aggressive flow. Y'all might hear that, that Browse Nightmare type flow that I had way back when I started. So. Y'all look up for that. And if y'all don't remember Broward's Nightmare, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga was a little reckless back in the day. <laughs> you know, he came at you with that old school trap and T.I. kind of flow. So, yeah. <laughs> Peep that if you ain't heard it yet. You know what it is, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Got any more? Shit, well, um, you know, coexist, coexist. Mm -hmm. But don't exist. <laughs> I mean, why coexist? Like, why, why did you choose that title? Why? Because I'm a firm believer in it's really one religion. It's, and that's the problem. That's what's really, like, dividing our society, religion. They're using it as a weapon. And I'm trying to let people, you know, I'm trying to get back to that political Ghana-type mind state. I want people to realize yeah, I, that, like, you know, um, don't let religion. Yeah, like I was saying, um. I'm trying to get that political gun in my state. Let people know religion is not a weapon. And we shouldn't let it segregate us as a people. And that's why I chose to coexist, you know. Um, basically trying to touch bases with all religions. Let people get a better understanding of them. Because sometimes people don't have the time or they don't want to take the time yeah. to study them. So I could put in my music. They're going to listen to the music. Yeah. 
So why not do it? Put it into something that they will pay attention to. So you know that's how I'm gonna do it. That's why I chose coexist, and it's also a topic that I enjoy. So I did that, and then I just made a subtitle for it, saying poison because our nation is poison right now. And True that. I cleanse that. I mean, I may not probably be able to cleanse it. I may not have enough time on this earth to do so, but I can inspire somebody and keep that cycle going. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um. Wow. Um. That was a handful. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's talk about the sound. Like you said, like you said, coexist. You're supposed to be uniting everything. Everything's gonna be one con conglomerative project and everything. So right. how how are the sounds gonna be? Okay. Um. Basically, with that, we can take it over here. Basically, with that, um. That whole sound, what I'm doing is, I'm getting whatever you could possibly think of. Indian sound, that Hindu music, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure if it's quite that. I'm still in the research, I'm not going to lie to y'all. But the, problem, the thing is, I'm doing my research. But um, it's going to be that type please. of sound. Um, we're going to get some reggae, of course, because y'all know I'm West Indian. Of course, <laughs> that's got to be in there. And I will be spitting in my accent. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have, well, I do already have the African, uh, track on there, but it's actually a poem. Um, I'm going to try to get, a, I'm going to try to touch bases a little bit with the rock and roll. Okay. But it's not going to be straight hardcore, you know, Metallica type shit. It's going to have that alternative sound to it. Um... I'm gonna get some grease shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna get that shit. I'm gonna get some grease shit. It's gonna be some grease shit on there. Um, what else we got on there? Uh, oh, it's definitely gonna be some uh, Japanese shit. Some like Oriental shit. Some harps, you know. That good, <laughs> smooth, melodic sound. And um, that's basically it. And what I'm trying to do is bring them together with my raps. So that's basically like coexist right there. Taking all those different sounds. And bringing them together with one voice, my voice. And hopefully I can get some dope ass collabs on there. Cool, cool, cool. They help me do that. All right. At the same time that I'm uniting this nation, we're going to, you know, unite this underground hip hop scene. Okay. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Now, you say unite the underground hip hop scene. Mm -hmm. All right. As far as that, do you think that everybody's too separated? You know, oh, like. Definitely. Cause I know people are always talking like we we have these conversations, mm -hmm. and people say that the main reason why hip hop in general mm -hmm. is such a how people sometimes people say it's flawed mm -hmm. because we're like the main genre that has conflicts within its own self. See, see, hold on with that.